The commander of U.S. Central Command Gen. Michael Eric Carrilla says the U.S. Ford and its supporting strike group are in the eastern Mediterranean to address the risks of any party seeking to expand the conflict. Comments likely designed to send a warning message of deterrence to Iran, Hezbollah, and other Iran-backed Hamas sympathizers. The presence of the U.S. Ford Carrier Strike Group brings a massive amount of power within close range of Gaza, Israel, and much of the Middle East, as it not only includes the Ford but also encompasses supporting warships such as DDG-51 Arleigh Burke-class destroyers. A statement from U.S. Central Command says the Ford is supported by as many as four destroyers, the U.S. Ramage, U.S. Thomas Hudner, U.S. Kearney, and U.S. Roosevelt. While the U.S. Ford can carry as many as 90 aircraft to include F-35Cs and F-A-18 fighter jets, the destroyers are capable of firing tomahawks able to travel as far as 900 miles if needed to pinpoint enemy targets. Pentagon has been clear that it supports Israel's right to defend itself and has instantly fast-tracked air defenses, weapons, and ammunition to the Israeli Defense Forces to further fortify their attack capabilities and defenses against salvos of incoming Hamas rockets. While the Pentagon is likely quite clear about not wanting to directly involve U.S. forces in the current IDF war on Hamas, the presence of the U.S. Ford is extremely significant for a number of key reasons. Beyond merely existing as a symbol of power and visible support to Israel, the U.S. Ford is in position to exact a devastating combat effect upon any potential adversaries from the ocean. Given that Gaza, Israel, and much of the Middle East are easily within range of the Ford's air attack power projection capability, carrier-launched attack aircraft such as the F-35C would be positioned to quickly achieve air supremacy and conduct surveillance or attack missions with. Lockheed Information says the F-35C carries nearly 20,000 loaves of internal fuel and has a range of greater than 1,200 nautical miles, something which enables F-35C pilots to fly further and remain in a desired battle space longer before refueling is necessary. The F-35C can carry more than 5,000 loaves of internal weapons or more than 18,000 loaves of combined internal and external weapons. The U.S. Gerald R. Ford Carrier Strike Group, CSG, revolves around the U.S. Gerald R. Ford, CVN-78, which stands as the lead ship of her class of United States Navy aircraft carriers. Representing the next generation of naval aviation, the Gerald R. Ford is the first new U.S. aircraft carrier design in over 40 years, taking over from the Nimitz-class carriers. A typical carrier strike group includes the aircraft carrier itself. In this case, the U.S. Gerald R. Ford, equipped with a range of naval aircraft. Accompanying the carrier are guided missile cruisers, which are multi-mission surface combatants primarily tasked with air warfare operations, but also capable of undersea and surface warfare. Additionally, the group comprises guided missile destroyers that can conduct anti-aircraft, anti-submarine, and anti-surface operations. Attack submarines are also part of the group with their primary role being to seek and destroy enemy submarines and surface ships. To ensure the group can operate for extended durations, a supply ship provides logistical support. Lastly, the carrier air wing, a composite unit of various aircraft including fighters, reconnaissance planes, and helicopters, is an integral part of the CSG. Each ship in the U.S. Gerald R. Ford Aircraft Carrier Strike Group plays a crucial role in achieving the strategic objectives of the United States. Their advanced capabilities make them a formidable force, capable of responding to a multitude of threats and scenarios. This deployment in the eastern Mediterranean aims not only to strengthen the joint force posture of the United States, but also to provide rapid material support to Israel, thereby underlining the unwavering support of the United States for the Israeli Defense Forces. The U.S. Gerald R. Ford Carrier Strike Group has been deployed to the eastern Mediterranean. This group comprises the aircraft carrier U.S. Gerald R. Ford, CVN-78, the missile cruiser U.S. Normandy, CG-60, and missile destroyers including U.S. Thomas Hudner, DDG-116, U.S. Ramage, DDG-61, U.S. Kearney, DDG-64, and U.S. Roosevelt, DDG-80. Additionally, 
the U.S. Air Force has bolstered its presence with F-35, F-15, F-16, and A-10 fighter squadrons in the area. Globally, the U.S. keeps forces on standby to strengthen this deterrent stance if necessary. The U.S. Gerald R. Ford, anchoring the carrier strike group in the eastern Mediterranean, epitomizes the zenith of naval aviation prowess. As the vanguard of its class, the CVN-78 integrates cutting-edge design with unparalleled capabilities. At its core, the carrier is engineered to launch and recover a diverse array of naval aircraft. This is facilitated by the state-of-the-art Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System, EMALS, and Advanced Arresting Gear, AAG, which supersede traditional steam catapults in efficiency and speed. Beyond its aviation assets, the Gerald R. Ford is fortified with defensive systems to counter aerial, surface, and undersea threats. This combination of diverse aircraft and robust defenses ensures the carrier's dominance in maritime theaters, reinforcing its role as a pivotal instrument of naval power projection and strategic deterrence. The U.S. Normandy stands as a formidable missile cruiser equipped for a triad of warfare domains, air, surface, and undersea. In the realm of air warfare, the Normandy boasts the Aegis Combat System, enabling it to proficiently detect, track, and neutralize enemy aircraft and missiles using its advanced surface-to-air missiles. When it comes to surface warfare, the cruiser is armed with harpoon missile launchers, making it adept at engaging surface targets over long distances. Delving into the undersea domain, the Normandy is fortified with sophisticated sonar systems, allowing it to detect and engage submarines using anti-submarine rockets and torpedoes. Beyond these, the cruiser is also equipped with Tomahawk cruise missiles for land attack roles and possesses guns and close-in weapon systems, CIWS, to defend against imminent threats. If you enjoy content like this, please go ahead and like and subscribe to this video because I appreciate all your support.